Hi, Dr. Bucking. Um, so I've been away and I don't know if you've had the opportunity to comment on the letter that you wrote September 16th to Minister Christine Elliott. I just wanted to check in to see if there's anything you wanted to say in regards to that letter and, and the issues you outlined, um, or if there's anything further that you wanted to add. Thanks, Sue. I think that you are referring to the letter um, that was regarding funding for the health unit. Um, and what, what the letter identified was that the province really has made commitments regarding ongoing funding for COVID-19 pandemic, uh, but that we haven't had a uh, communication from the province or an acknowledgement of a number of the other additional expenses that health units are accruing related to catch-up activities um, and recovery activities. I guess to speak further to that, um, we hear a lot about uh, things like surgical backloads uh, or backlogs. We hear about um, the gaps or, or the backlog in terms of cancer screening, other things within the what I call the acute healthcare system or the healthcare system. And we hear very little about what the backlog is in public health because we're, we're not as visible and I think people are not as familiar with the work that we do. In the letter, I tr tried to provide some concrete examples of what those backlogs are. So, for example, we know that we missed um, two years of the school-based immunization program. So there's 2,400 students that we are now trying to catch up their school-based immunizations. Uh, and to date, uh, what we have been told as a health unit is to do those catch-up activities within our existing budgets, which um, I don't believe is a, is a reasonable expectation to make, given that the amount of uh, resources we're continuing to have to dedicate for the COVID response. The other piece that I'd flag related to this is that we know uh, the pandemic has had significant harms related to, to mental health, uh, related to addictions and substance use. Uh, and, and public health plays a really important role in helping to prevent those, um, those issues from starting in the first place, uh, but also in responding to them. And I can uh, cite, for example, the uh, opioid epidemic and our work in connecting with uh, um, partner agencies to respond to the opioid overdose epidemic um, and uh, distribution of naloxone, for example. And all of, so we know that there is going to be a significant and increased amount of work for all of these things, these harms that have come out as a part of the pandemic. And so in a similar thing, th this is work that we, we want to take on, we'll have to take on, um, but we haven't had an increase in our base budget from the province for, for five years. So we need, um, we need some additional resources and supports to be able to do that um, in addition to the COVID response. So I think I, I hope that provides some concrete examples for you. Um, and I know that we're certainly not the only health unit in this position. Uh, and all of the health units together are really trying to uh, raise awareness and identify so all of that additional work that public health does uh, that has also had to sometimes been put on the back burner.